Mid Journey is currently one of the hottest AI tools out there among designers, but I really think that their website could be better at clearly communicating the power of this insane tool to the users. So I decided to challenge myself, redesign and animate their landing page in 20 minutes. So I guess let's get started. What I feel currently with the website they have is that they're not really showcasing the potential of the tool to like the fullest. I think that they're putting a lot of um, emphasis on the people behind the project. They probably have different goals with this website than I am thinking of. But for me, I would want this to really show all of the crazy results you can get with a tool like Midjourney. So what I will be focusing on is making the landing page primarily about the output, about the images. So with that said, let's waste no more time on talking. Let me start creating some rectangles here because I'm gonna create a grid of images. That's kind of my first idea here. So I'll create different sized images like this and we'll do something like that. Maybe this is like this and just create a bunch of images here and it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should look dynamic and nice. Then I'll use a pretty cool technique. Let's just add another image here. Maybe it's tall like that. Then I'll use a pretty cool technique. Uh, you can go up here, click place image and video. Then you can take a bunch of images and you will see how you get this pointer with a number and you can just put the images in like this. Super cool stuff. I will target them all. I will add some rounding to them. Maybe eight is good, maybe 16. Let's go with 16. I'll group these, call them images. Then I'll take one of these images, maybe this one, because it has a lot of vivid colors. I really like that. And I'll do a little trick that I've been using a lot lately where I take an image and then I blur it out like this. So I'll call this image blur. And when you blur an image out like this, you of course get the colors from the image and you create this cool effect together with these actual images. Uh, I think I will fade these images out a bit, maybe 70, maybe 50% is fine. Uh, maybe the ones on the edges have a bit more fade to them, so something like that. I think that's pretty cool. Maybe we tilt them a bit uh, and we increase the size of it using the K tool, which I usually use when I scale stuff. So something like that. Then I wanna go in here and lock these things so that I don't mistakenly um, move them around when creating other stuff. Now I'll create the logo type. I'm using Roboto Mono, uh, I think. I don't know if that's the exact uh, font they're using uh, mid-journey, but I think it's like, it looks AI-ish. I think it kind of fits the, the vibe here. Uh, I won't be focusing on all of the call to actions that they have here. They have get started, showcase, join the beta, sign in, and this I thing here. I wanna showcase, or sorry, I wanna focus on just two things. So sign in and join the beta. And I think that join the beta should be the primary action here. So I'll make that an actual button. I'll change the color with the eyedropper tool like this. I'll go in here and change the rounding. And I actually wanna pick this color for the primary action because it feels like this is kind of the main color that they're using on the Mid Journey website. I'll go to effects, sorry. I'll have a drop shadow. I'll set everything to zero except the blur to 24. And then I'll pick this color so we get this shine effect. Maybe 16, 16 is fine. 
I'll group these into an auto layout, call it right side, so I know it's the right side. And then I'll make all of these into an auto layout. I'll add some uh, padding to it. This will be the nav, right? So the nav will have an auto layout and it will have the spacing mode to be space between. So it puts it to the corners. Maybe it's a bit, uh, no, 24 pixels in vertical uh, padding is good too. Call it nav. That's cool. 14 minutes, 14 minutes, 14 minutes, sorry, a fly. And me looking at the clock means I'm stressed. Okay, mid journey, maybe this should be 18. Maybe it shouldn't be light. Maybe it's like regular. Looks a bit better. Maybe this should be regular as well. Um, I think that looks fine. Now I'll grab this text um, and I'll increase the size. Maybe not that big though, maybe 56. This one we can put down um, and we need a catchy title here. So let's say Mid Journey is the new eras, is the AI tool, AI tool of uh, our generation. Sorry for the bad copy here. I am stressed and I'm just trying to make this design work here. Mid Journey is the AI tool of our generation. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Okay, so here we kind of have the hero. I think this looks, looks good. Uh, let's increase the height of the whole frame here. So the next thing I want to happen is I want to take these images. So I want this to be a scrollable, scrollable website. Mm. How weird, a scrollable website. I want that when you scroll, I want these images to kind of follow us down. Um, so I want them to decrease in size and I want new text to fade in and this text to fade out. So I'll just copy this text. I will center this one and I will make it bigger here. Uh, and this is gonna be more about the prompt. So just enter a prompt and see the magic happen. Maybe that's too long. Enter a prompt. Enter a prompt. Watch the magic happen. Maybe we decrease the size a bit, maybe something like this. Enter a prompt, watch the magic happen. And here I want to showcase the actual prompt as well, so an input field. 12 minutes, Jesus. Um, so let's say in when you use mid journey, you type slash imagine, and then you just enter some kind of prompt, aka vivid wallpaper maybe. I'll decrease the size of this. Then I'll once again use an auto layout to create this um, input. So maybe something like this. Input, I'll change the color of this. Maybe change that to regular. Give it some rounding as well, so it looks a bit better. The text in here, I'll actually make a linear gradient as well, like this. Well, it looks kinda cool. Increase the size a bit more. There we go. Make this into an auto layout, uh, maybe 64. And let's say uh, second heading, just so that I know later when we're gonna animate what things are. Uh, so proper naming will help. Maybe a bit tighter, 48, okay, cool. And like I said, we're gonna use these images, so I'll copy them, uh, unlock them, send them to the back. I will reposition them like this and there we have something cool happening. And maybe they're a bit too strong in color here. So maybe something like that. Yeah, maybe it fades out even more as we scroll down. That looks kind of cool. Uh, maybe we need more spacing here though. 64, I think that looks good. Give it some breathing room. Spacing is very important UI design, guys. Okay, enter prompt, watch the magic happen. 
That is the second thing. And then the last part, this will be the footer. It will be a very short uh, and sweet website. Uh, this should say um, ready to um, ready to be blown away. Wow, this is cliche, uh, cringe. Ready to be blown away? Join the beta today. Hmm, not too bad, not too bad. So that will be changed to a linear gradient, this part of it. Um, I'll probably change the colors of this soon. I wanna add a call to action button here as well. Uh, I wanna make this button a bit bigger. So if the one in the top is like button medium, this will be a button large. So maybe 24 using the eight point grid system um, when spacing things and when sizing things. So something like that could be cool. Uh, then I want to reuse this same technique again. Let's say button first so that I know it's a button. Um, maybe I'll add an auto layout to this. Third section, section. Okay, no, third text. Oh shit, nine minutes, text section. Um, maybe some more spacing. Cool, that looks good. Now, like I said, I want to reuse the technique I had here, the blurred image. Um, so I'll unlock this, but maybe I want to use a different image for this one though. So this one maybe. So yeah, this has some cool colors. I'll do the same thing again, change this to be layer blur, 200, I think that's cool. We can change the shape of it, and you can see how the colors change a bit based on that, based on shape. Send that to the back here. Um, decrease the height of this a bit. And then I can take, I'll make actually a sphere here as well. And I'll take the background color, and add some layer blur to the sphere and put that on top here as well. And this should be on the outermost top. I wanna change the linear gradient to have like this color, but maybe stronger, maybe stronger, maybe stronger. Um, something like this, increase like that. And actually we'll change the button color here as well to map towards this so that it looks a bit more aesthetic. Uh, okay, so join the beta, something like that. We'll add some links here in the bottom, seven minutes, Jesus. Um, so we'll have, uh, let's say we can have about, we can have, what else, careers, contact. Let's go for with this for now. I am too stressed to come up with all of these things. Okay, there we go, about careers contact. Looks pretty good. So we have our footer and we have the full site here. Looks pretty cool, uh, but it's time to animate and we have six something minutes. So I'll grab this, drag it over here to animate the page. Um, and what I wanna do here, I wanna have scroll-based interactions and when, I create scroll-based interactions. I usually create a bunch of frames and I fade things in based on drag interactions. So I'll show you how that works. What we need in the beginning here is just the top frame, or sorry, the top section. So this is what we need. So this will be the first frame. Maybe we even want some fade-in animation in the beginning. Let's see if we can do something cool with that. Uh, so I'll unlock everything so that we can move stuff freely. Um, so when the site loads, I want this text to fade in. Um, these images maybe uh, like, let's see, maybe they fade in as well. This blur also fades in and grows in size and maybe the nav just kind of comes from the top like that. And now if we go here, add a flow starting point. 
So mid journey flow five minutes, Jesus. Um, and here we'll just have uh, after delay thousand milliseconds. We're gonna have smart animate animation and six hundred uh, six hundred spring animation slow should be fine. Uh, let's play it. I know that this takes a while because my internet is slow. So let me continue uh, actually creating frames while it's loading. So the next thing that happens when we scroll is this text is gonna go towards the top. So we mimic a scroll interaction. Same with the uh, um, header. If we want that to disappear, maybe we don't want it to disappear. Maybe it can stay in the top. Uh, the images here are gonna decrease in size like this, right? We fade them out, I think. The blur will move towards the top and be faded out as well. Uh, and we'll have this tech, like this whole thing appearing. So this will probably come from the bottom. And sorry, this in the in this frame this is like the end frame this is what we want to happen so this is what we'll look like when we get here and before we get there we need these items to be in the previous frame so i'll push them down we'll fade them in push them up into this frame and then the next step after this will be to fade these things in as well so as we scroll again, this is gonna fade out. This is gonna, maybe this like increases in size and fades out. Maybe that looks cool. Um, we'll take three minutes, holy. Um, we'll take these things here and we'll paste them in here. Drag them up like that. Okay, so this is the end state. This is the last scroll. And before we get to that scroll, we're gonna fade these things out and we're gonna drag them down. And maybe we want them to be a bit unsynchronized so that the movement of the stuff is uh, a bit random. So I'll change the position individually of these things as well. I think that will look cooler. Two and a half minutes. Okay, so let's see, has this uh, loaded? Boom, okay, cool. We have this awesome fade in animation when you reach the website. Now, when we grab this text, I'm gonna have a drag interaction here. And I wanna make that drag interaction a bit slow. So I'll add some more um, time to it. And then when we drag this, we're gonna go here, same thing. And then we can have from here, we can even go back. So on drag, we go back. And from this too, we can go back on drag. Okay, one minute, 40 seconds. Let's see if this works. So we have, it fades in. Por favor, what is happening? Okay, so I scroll, it fades in this these images kind of fade, fade out and decrease in size. This pops up from the bottom and then boom. As I scroll again, we get to the bottom, to the footer. That looks pretty cool actually. Boom, boom. Uh, that's a bit too quick, let's see. Boom, I think it's depending on how I scroll as well. Boom, boom. I think it's because these, um, I pushed these items down very much. So if I push them up a bit more, they don't have as far, like this distance to travel is shorter. So that's gonna make uh, it less jagged, the animation. Let's see, boom, boom, boom. So once you've created a landing page like this, you might want to make it responsive. And I have some videos where I talk about that stuff. Now, until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.